What's up guys, welcome back to another Gwent video, and in today's video, I'm going to be playing a Monster Swarm deck. And this is more of a classic Swarm deck, something that we uh, haven't seen in a, a bit, you know. I think this was a deck that was quite popular earlier this year, and has slowly faded away as Monster Relics and uh, Keltalus and Witches Sabbath have, you know, gained popularity. But I just want to bring this back and see how it fares in the current meta, right? So let's just jump into the deck and explain to those who have never seen this deck what the cards do. So first up, Arrakis Swarm is a leader of choice, 15 plus provisions, obviously uh, very synergistic with a lot of our cards, and that's plain as we go along. Uh, stratagem choice is going to be Dactyl Advantage. This is because um, this gives us uh, one less, it doesn't clog our board with something I don't want to clog it. So for example, you could easily run Magical Lamp, but keep in mind that every card space you have on the board is extremely important for you and if you clog which this deck can do you're losing points be very careful about this uh you can also for crystal veil a crystal skull sorry sorry for the veil which is useful uh but in this case i think the one extra point is actually more valuable to me uh first card is oniromancy again very powerful uh, echo card gives us consistency and gives us access to the goals we need there's a lot of really high-end goals that we do not want to miss out on Trisalikinesis, uh, she gives us access to some of our swarm cards, so we're running stuff like uh, Arrakis Nest, uh, Spontaneous Evolution, and Bone Talisman. Those are the cards I would like to see when I'm playing uh, when I'm playing her. But obviously, of course, if you're going in a matchup against a faction that is running a bunch of specials themselves, themselves, uh, you want to be a bit careful because she does lose consistency over there. But all the, overall, a pretty reliable card, right? Uh, Geralt Yerden. Now, Geralt Yerden is not only great against the, in the current meta, I would say, because of how a lot of decks have a lot of cards that go quite tall. Um, SK Rain, the messengers go quite tall. Um, Nilfgaard, mid range, surprisingly goes a lot quite tall with all the assimilate engines procking off. Uh, Inspired Zeal, Mages, the Alumni, if they're going range run and they're boosting stuff, you cannot reset all of that. And then uh, uh, Syndicate also, Syndicate Jackpot. A lot of stuff that goes into green power, so you can reset all that. But secondly, Geralt Yerden has fantastic synergy with the Yennefer of Wengerberg. Uh, so I'll come to that when I come to Yennefer. So running Heatwave as well, uh, just a straightforward removal option, very consistent option. Get rid of scenarios, get rid of any valuable goals or cards that you don't want to have, uh, you know, that you don't want your opponent to have access to. Crimson Curse is uh, our first major expensive organic card and is easily one of the best cards in this deck. It's so good. It's 10 provisions, it can be tutored by Wispish Tribute and immediately plays for 9 points because it gives you a, a drone because it's organic and our passive comes into play. It gives you three, uh, 2 Ekimaras, both are 3 strengths, so that's 6 power. So 6 plus 1, 7, uh, and then it applies 2 bleeding to an opposite uh, unit on the opposite row and they get picked down as well. Pretty useful. Uh, and if you get a long enough round, Crimson Curse gives you some insane value. Very good card. So anyway, Yennefer or Bengaburg. So 99% of the time, we are going to be playing Yennefer or Bengaburg on the range row. Boost all other units by 2. Now because we're also boosting our opponent's units, we get even more value from a Geralt Yerden, where we can reset the boost we just gave them. Very powerful in that sense. Uh, you want to make sure that you play this uh, quickly enough to where your opponent isn't able to swarm their board to counter your Yennefer. Uh, so I would say, even if you don't have a full board, it's fine. As long as you can get a decent chunk of points from Yennefer, you're happy, right? Uh, next up, Zoltan Scoundrel. This guy got buffed, I think, a few months ago. Like I think it's been like four or five months ago. Um, but he's a very good option now. Uh, on the range row, he's basically very similar to a single-use Gesserus on the range row. He boosts all units on the uh, all units on his certain row by one. Uh, but also, he's anti-swarm. You know, if, if, for example, you want to kill a bunch of units on your opponent's row, you can go for the melee row Zoltan Scoundrel. It's a niche option, but it is there. Again, a very powerful card, very nice to have. Arrakis Behemoth, a fantastic card. It's It plays for so much tempo. Uh, don't be afraid to use one or two leader charges to you know get full value out of this. Arrakis Behemoth is very, very useful to have. Uh, it boosts all Insectoids on the on the row by one, right? And Insectoids also do include, by the way, uh, Endrega Warriors. Do not forget that. Uh, Whispers Tribute, our tutor. She tutors our Crimson Curse. She tutors our Parasite. Not Bone Talisman, by the way. Bone Talisman is not an organic card guide. Keep that in mind. Uh, but Parasite, both our Spontaneous Evolutions, our Arrakis Nests, our Natural Selections. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just a consistency option that's very useful. Because this deck doesn't have the best thinning, if you notice. It has Oneromancy 2, and then one Whispers Tribute. So that's three thinning options. I think that's it, right? Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Dargray, uh, another decent lock option, uh, just to lock something, uh, 
that is out of our removal range. Uh, you can lock a Gerhard, you can lock a, I don't know, a Damien, you can lock a Leticia. Yes, we do have Parasite, but again, these two are one-off uses, so keep that in mind. So very nice to have. Maxi is another thinning uh, consistency option, you can say. Uh, you you want to make sure that you are trying to draw into as many of your top-end goals as much as possible, and Maxi allows that. It's also a nice proactive play to have, uh, which is useful. Double Spontaneous Evolution, phenomenal organic card at 5 provisions, so much value. Uh, you're only going to be worrying about the Insectoid option because we're only playing Insectoids. We're not playing any Beasts, we're not playing any Ogroids, so don't worry about it. So you're, essentially what's going to happen is you're going to spawn 3 drones and you're also going to boost your target by 4. And because of your leader's passive, it's going to spawn another. So this basically plays as an 8 for 5. That is swarming your board, giving you more value on your Yennefer, giving you more value on your Triss, giving you more value on your Scoundrel, your Arrakis Behemoth, your Bone Talisman. That's how you got to think about it. Uh, Chimera, another 5p uh, beast. We do have a beast, actually. I forgot. I actually lied. But mostly you're going to go for the swarming option. That's why That's why I said that. But Chimera is also a fantastic swarming option. Once you have a bunch of, uh, in uh, you know, like Arrakis drones on a single row, when you have Adrenaline 4 or less, you go for Chimera, playing for an insane amount of uh, tempo. Very powerful card in this case. And it also, a nice thing to have, is that it gives you board space because you're consuming a unit. So you can use this to free up something on the range row because you do have a few cards that are locked to the range row. Uh, Whispers being one, Yennefer being two, Zoltan being three, uh, and Triss being four. So just keep that in mind as well. The range row is much more important to you than the melee row. Uh, Double Arrakis Nest, just another swarming tool. You get five drones from this, pretty useful. Double Natural Selection for removal, but also if you don't want to remove anything but just want more swarming, you can target something that's at like one strength and that'll give you more drones, right? Uh, double Endrega Warrior and one Endrega Egg. So the Endrega Warrior is for the Endrega Egg. Uh, I've preferred to go for extra Warriors over the Eggs because Warriors can still be useful even if you don't have a consumed target. Because if you consume an Insectoid, you gain more Insectoids with Endrega Warrior. Consume ad adjacent units, spawn a drone in this row for each Insectoid consumed, right? So pretty useful in that sense. And then finally, a Squirtle for banishing stuff like Radiant Ghost Ship, banishing Echo Cards, banishing Maddock, so on and so forth. So yeah, this is the deck, guys. Uh, it's actually, I think I would say, pretty decent. You're going to see four games. Yes, four games in this video, all in ranked. Uh, and I think, yeah, you're going to see some pretty fun games. You're def uh, the biggest weaknesses for this deck, I would say this deck loses to a lot of engine cards. Um, it can be quite difficult to because engines are over going to overwhelm you in the long round. Uh, you also will lose against anti Swarm, obviously. Reckless Flurry can actually be pretty decent against this because the leader charges can ping down your, your uh, drones. And also, they tend to run uh, Gerd, who's also very good at anti swarming. Uh, in a mirror matchup, uh, let's say again, not mirror matchup, sorry. If you're going up against Double Cross, NG, if they can use a leader ability and get your Yennefer or your Yurden, very bad for you. Because they can go for melee Yennefer and just nuke your board, or they can just go for Yurden and nuke your value. Be very careful about this. Uh, so yeah, um, I've always enjoyed Arrakis Swarm. I think it's a very fun archetype. And let's just jump into the games. See you guys then. All right, here we go. First up against Pirate's Cove. Okay. The Attack! Attack! So we're going second. I have Squirrel in hand, which could be useful against the boat. Um... More than you. Do I have enough Swarm for this? I think so. Maybe not, actually. I think I'm more than you. Okay, so Crimson Curse can apply some decent pressure, especially on Red Coin. It's a lot of... It's a lot of pressure. Sewers remind me of the Fjords back, back home. home. The Fjords back home. So I do, do I go for the instant Crimson Curse? And I think I do. I think I want to secure this round. Let's do it. Let's do it. Wretched Atticus. Self poison shenanigans. Okay, so. I can kill that. But the second one I can't kill. Gellert. Oh. That's actually really important to kill, but I don't have access to Parasite, and I don't want to heat wave that, I think. So, we're just gonna go for. Nest. 1, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one more drone in the back row. Oh, thanks for the best fires. Last is gathered? Yeah, okay. So I do this. Take the lead by a decent margin, which is really good. Also, bleeding went to this, which is also really good for me. Don't lose a point over here. So, the coin usage suggests they're not running both. So, I can just. I guess Squirrel is not going to be super useful in this matchup. So, this is Adrenaline 4, right? Yeah. Um, What's my next play gonna be? I can't play Zoltan, unfortunately. Because range door is locked. Is uh sorry, not locked, it's clogged. Scoundrel. Your tongue to that doesn't work. Wrong again, they claim the wrong row, I guess, but. Uh so how much is Squirtle here? Squirtle places four. They take two damage here, so five, six, and then seven. So it's actually a die, so I need to play one drone. Because I do not want to heatwave it. I don't think it's correct heatwaving it. I could go for melee Zoltan though, but I think that's a waste of points. This card can be really good. So let me just do the maths again. Four, five, six. They take seven bleeding. And then I do this. I think that's correct. Yeah, that's correct. Cool. Professor, alright. Fears already besmirched your breaches, I presume. Okay. How many points is Chimera? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I'm getting 11 points. 11 is... It's another tie again, wow. Alright, let's do it. I'm being quite frivolous with my leaders, but I think it's important I put the pressure. Now I have space to Zoltan as well, so... I mean, I'm, I've only played one really expensive gold card and they're playing. Yeah. Um. Always willing. There we go. Go to 46. We are now 11 points ahead. That plays for nine. Now, any holiday. Yeah. It's getting difficult to stay in this round. We'll go for Triss here. Wait, no, I don't have sort of space, never mind. Heat wave is 14 points. Is this it? I think it's it. Yeah. Okay. Slander. You spend all six coins. You need to use leader here, I think, right? If you want to stay ahead. No, that's still not enough. No. No, leader gives you four points extra, so. Okay, I take the pass here. Yeah. Cool. So we. They win a car. Uh, they win this round, but they're two cards down. Horsen's Freak is really good. That card is very good against my Swarm deck, right? Because it can ping a lot of stuff down. Just click two more times. There you go. So no carryover. We get Professor. We get uh, Horsen's Freak Show. Gellert's gone. Scoundrel's gone. They are playing a bounty deck. So we're still worried about Horsen's Junior. Another. That's good. Is my drive pass card? Do I keep this hand actually? I 
I think I mulligan. Um... I think I just keep this hand here. Yeah. They're playing? Okay. Together! But don't get used to it. Alright, cool. Is this Foco? Or no, they played bank also, right? No, they haven't played bank. So this could be bank or it could be Foco, one of them. Salamandra hideout, okay. Failed experiment. So this goes down to 8, right? So I need to play... If I play something and then they pass, it takes damage. So it goes down to 8, which means I need to play... This place is... Uh, this is a little awkward, actually. Because it goes on to 8, I need to go to 9, which means I need 8 points. So... This is just 4, 5, this is 5 points because I consumed this. Let's do this. I think I need to save leader charge. I could use leader charge to go ahead. Are they actually considering playing that card? Alright, okay. Okay, yeah, I should have used the other charge then. Okay. Uh, we just get rid of Nora Gray. Our world is in Yeah, I think uh, I should use the other charge. The reason I saved a leader chart is because it allows me to play something like uh, Spontaneous Evolution proactively. But, I don't know, maybe that was a mistake here. That's a good hand. That's a really good hand. Ooh, that's a really good hand. Whispers gives me... Uh, one of these three. Yeah, we'll keep this. So we're gonna swarm our board really quickly so we can get Yennefer value. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, okay, so this is perfect. So that's gonna show you four cards. You choose that, okay. Alright, um. Yeah, unfortunately, but I think next I just play Yennefer. Alright, Yennefer, second best girl in the Witcher universe. Boom. There'll be nothing to pick up when I'm done with you. I think we should win this comfortably. Siggy Rubin, alright. Be careful though. They did have both wow. Alright, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is five. Yeah, this is the best. And if the last card is double jackal, we should win this comfortably. Heat wave, alright. I only need corpses. So only one of these will get the horde effect. There you go. Yeah. Uh, so there is three, four, five, three, four, five. Okay. Damn it. Yes, a little closer than I thought, actually. Woo. Alright, perfect. That is game number one. Let's jump into another game. Though, to be fair, that was actually quite close. I lost by... I won by three points, right? Little scary, a little scary. Alright, you know what? Let's move on. Okay, so Gorilla Tactics, Goyatel. Alright. 
Lurel Tactics can be scary actually. They have a lot of stuff that pings. Cat Witches, Russian Traps if they run them. We are going first. Okay. I wonder how we do against this. Let's just start off with a simple... Uh, not natural that. Uh, yeah. That's what I was looking for. Arrakis Nest. So we can go Arrakis Nest into Behemoth. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's a weird, interesting card to see. Alright, there we go. Solid 24 points. Mahaka Marauder. Are we seeing... Can dwarves fight? Ha, the fish passing legs. The fish passing legs. Um, do I want to pressure with Crimson Curse? I don't think so. I don't. I want to do it just yet. Let's use another leader charge and go for you. I gotta go in for natural selection onto this, but I think I want to save that for an engine. So. Justice. This is dwarves with guerrilla tactics. Interesting. Oh, you have done it no. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Got a decent lead. We got a decent lead. They're getting three points of vitality. They're twenty-seven essentially. Simless. Very not ignorant. Remember to whom you. I was so scared that was last raid. Oof. What's that card? Whisper. Okay. Double whisper. Wow. All right. The soil is fertile. Fertile with magic. That probably means I should get out, right? Double whisper is very scary, especially because I can't kill them both in the same turn. Uh, this place has four points. I think I want to win round one though. Let's 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 do this. Five points, yeah, because the passive, and I can play Trist then. I just have space for one more card, so I think I'll go for Trist, and hopefully get Bone Talisman. Oh my! Do you really want to know? Four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Don't miss Trist. Don't miss. Damn it, Trist! Why'd you miss? That is really frustrating. Uh, I don't have any special cards I want to play, so I think I just go for value. Uh, I guess I just like this. Illusions. You yet to see what they can accomplish. So I could probably throw this away, but this is such a good card for me. Like that is swarm, which I cannot afford to lose. All right, cool. So essentially, we, play, we traded Triss for Simless, and they play Novigrad in Justice as well, which is really good for me. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so if they're playing uh, Gaten, that potentially means they're playing Gestras as well. So I have to be quite careful. Oneromancy is really good, yeah. Okay. Do I want to go for the long round? Do I have enough space? I think I do. Not swarming way too much, also. Uh, but against movement engines, that could be quite scary. So, I think I want to push a little bit. Just a bit. Just a bit. Because against a long run engines, uh, movement engines, I think we lose. And I don't have all the control in the world, right? So to be quite careful. And I do have a feeling they're playing Kestris. What is this deck they're playing? Is this Harmony? I haven't seen a single Harmony engine. Because they're playing a bunch of different tags. El you know, they have Witcher, Elf, Dwarf. Double Bountiful Harvest. Something in their hand is boosted by at least two. Hmm. 
Or Nero could be Whispers into Parasite if I need it to be. Could be Sultan Scoundrel, Heatwave, obviously. Uh, Topnado, you gonna play? There you go, there you go. Cadwitch, okay. So that thing got double boosted, alright. I have a pass, actually. That got all the carryover, looks like it. Because I'm concerned that it could be like um, sentinels into megascopes into movement stuff, which I can't stop. So we're just gonna do this. Mankind is a virus. A plague. So that's both your carryover gone, which is good to see. Stick a castle, okay. For another one. All Are right. you fucking kidding me? Catnip instead of crowns? Catnip instead of crowns? Crimson Curse there. So yeah, they definitely have guesses. Definitely. I also do want to Onero this round since it's our first charge of Onero, right? Yeah, it's our first charge. So we can go Onero into potentially Sparasite to kill that. Yeah. I'm gonna do this into the you into you and kill this that's your third cat witcher Hughes are scum I prefer L Do I Yennefer here? I think I do. You cross the wrong Back row because I'm gonna play Chimera next. So I wanna stack up the row that has all the drones. Adrenaline 3, right? So. Not your lucky day. There's the Gezrus. No point in showing this. At all. With a leader charge. Two, four. Alright, let me see. Let me do the math here. So they did two, four. Five, uh, two, four plus four points. So it's eight. So I think I take the boss here. Because this is playing for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten puts me at 49. Yeah, we'll take the boss. They're taking bleeding damage, but any significant movement engine here will be enough points, so I have to be careful. Plus, they have leader charges, so. Dried Matronoka. First, you must learn to flash. First, you must learn to brush. I actually don't know what she's saying. There it is. Boom, boom, and yeah. Boom. I wonder if that was actually good for me or not. Because a long run, I would have been massacred. Massacred, I tell you. You're a mulligan. Alright, what am I looking for, actually? I really want Heatwave and Zoltan, right? Zoltan's good. Are you good? No. Okay, so a near man sees Heatwave, looks like it. You need to take one plowing step further. Or it could be swarm. I think heat waving. That's no. There's no point. I think swarm is more important for me. Cause I have Yordan, so you know. Unfortunately, that went on the melee road. We lose a point on Chimera there. and a point on Zoltan. Um, they still have one more of these. I think all the cat witches are gone. One, two, three. Yeah, all the cat witches are gone. Another matron, a second, uh, Brocklon, Dolbathana sentry. One of these each. Melina.
There's the matron. Uh, I guess I'd use this. Hope it goes on the back row. Nice. There's a sentry. Nice. I mean, this is where you leader charge my units. Mushy Truffle. What's the bonded unit? Oh, the dwarf, right? Yeah, Marco Morada. They don't leader charge us. Pretty good for me, actually. That's actually really good for me there. Because I get more value in the swarm, and then I have Yodin to kind of negate all this value from Mushy Truffle. And okay, that's leader charge number one, leader charge number two. Great Oak? Brehen, okay. They will beg. They all. This is gonna be close. We still have Stigger Castle. I think we lost, yeah. I think we lost. Yeah. Unfortunate. So, one, five, nine, three, four, uh, seven, so. Let's get this over with. Yeah. Oh well. Pretty harsh loss there. The thing is, long run. Long run would have really sucked for us, right? Because. I don't have enough control to kill all those movement engines. Yeah. Maybe I should have pushed in a bit more in round two. Oh well, you know, there you go. You see a... Uh... Yeah, I think that was always going to be a little difficult. All right, let's find one more game, guys. All right, here we go. Another Pirate School. Wow. Any last words? Somebody played Pirate School and made, made a pretty decent deck, I think. All right, so we won against the first one. Let's see if we can repeat that again. Going second also, which is pretty good. Um, very gold looking hand. Uh, Alright, okay. So the other one was Bounty. So... Casino Bouncers. Fancy a game of Kaviri Roulette. Kaviri Roulette. At least I have Arrakis Behemoth in it. That's a really good start. It's always a good start to have. Um, Weavis gives us Crimson Curse. Gotta keep that in mind. Alright. If you believe that is correct. Okay. So they're devotion. Ah, the That's good to know. Oh, we so back up. Uh, I don't think I want a Crimson Coast this round. Oh, do I? Actually, do I? Wait, wait, wait. Do I? Crimson Coast puts pressure on them, which can be very useful for me. My choice here right now is I think I want to go for Crimson Coast, or I could go for a second spontaneous evolution. Uh, maybe we'll not use Crimson because I do have some golds in my hand, so. Let's not be too per expensive this one. Right? So this also sets up our behemoth perfectly, by the way. Scoundrel, okay. Alright, scroll's gone. Bye bye, squirrel. So yeah, this is the bounty variation. Okay. 
I mean, to be fair, all the units on our board are pretty low base strength. This is the highest base strength on the board. So they're not getting too much value from Bounty. It's, it's okay. It's not great. But this is really good to get out. Again, that's a very good card against our Swarm, right? Slander. All right. Doesn't put you ahead. But I do want to play. You're not set up, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Could go for Sultan, maybe? Or I could go for my first Onero, actually. Let's just go Onero. Onero. Into... I think Maxi. I think we just go for Maxi here. Or I could go for my Bone Talisman. No, we'll go for Maxi. Alright, so Yennefer... So one, two, three, two mulligans. Okay, so I think I keep this, yeah. 10 points ahead. They have no spender on the board just yet. Or active spender, because this is a this is a spender that requires bounty, so they have to play. Leader number corpses, one. Except sometimes they're quite fresh. What? Uh excuse me. Both leaders, really? What? Why? Why would you... Professor, okay. How many points is this? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 puts me at... Yeah, it's, a, it's in the lead. I did my maths wrong. I thought I was... I, I, I did my maths wrong. I don't know why I did that. Uh, that's fine. My maths was so wrong there. I don't know what number I saw, but I saw something very different apparently. Uh, but I can take the lead with a single natural selection since it's worth five points. Now, what do you do? I mean, Professor's gone, Scoundrel's gone, Freak Show's gone, both the leader charges are gone, and they're still considering to play. Interesting. Come on, opponent. Come on. You can do it. Roland. Wow. Roland as well. Alright, so I need 17 points. Zoltan's worth 4 plus 7. It's 11. 11 plus 5. It's 15. 16, 17. I can do it. I can do it. Alright. Spawn on the melee rope. Spawn on the melee route, please. Okay. Wow. Bro both the brothers? Okay. 63 means I need 22 points. Zoltan is worth now how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, plus 4 is 12. I need a lot more than 12. I need more than that. I need more than that. Uh, I think I take the pass here. Or do I? I have Triss though, that's the thing. Do I risk high rolling with Triss here? You're 12. I can put one more, so 13. 14, 14, 14 plus whatever Triss plays should be enough. Uh, I think I'll pass here. It's a very expensive round for them, but I am still a little concerned. I'm not, I think they misclicked the second leader charge. I don't think they intended to use second leader. It makes no sense. So there's Oniromancy. I'm drawing Bone Talisman, Squirrel, and Yennefer, I believe. If I mulligan, I think I draw a Squirrel, right? Oh, and Rego Warrior, not Squirrel, okay. Um, okay. My Dry Pass card is right here. And 
if they don't pass, I can just play Arrakis Ness Yennefer. Uh, is this a connection or a forfeit? Did you realize you misplayed Mr. Oh, never mind. Okay. I kid. I kid, opponent. I kid. And there it is. <laughs> There it is. There is the awkward yet delayed forfeit. Like, they just realized, wait a second. I actually played really badly there. All right, cool. So there we go, guys. You know what? I think uh, because of the way that game ended, I'm actually going to find one more game for you guys. I'd like to have a bit more of a satisfying ending. All right, see you guys then. All right, finally inspired you. Oh, my God. I was wa waiting to see when we'd face the meta, the meta deck. All right, so... I'd like to win this round, and I have a bit of control. I have one piece of control. I don't think I want to play you two. Um, okay. Royal Guard. Attention! Attention! Arms. Present arms! Present arms! Alright, let's do this. Um, always a bit scary to go up against this Sinchen Envoy. Alright, alright. If you could just sign the confirmation of receipt. I don't think I want to kill them just yet. I'm waiting for a student to drop, so... Just waiting for a student. Raffard's Vengeance, huh? I'll give them two days before they cower in the tree. Well, I could heat wave that. It's probably heat wave, if I'm being honest. What is this? Aratusa student? No, Carrick Marine. All right, all right, all right, all right. Scroll this, scroll that Damn it! Take no one. Yours. Okay. Um. Is that a heat wave? Is that a heat wave? I think I want to heat wave the defender that comes later down the line, right? We can take our time, yeah? We can take our time. There's the banner on the. You've met your match! Alright. I think I'm fine with the banner growing. How many points are you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, you're eight, and then you give me one drone. All right. Amphibious assault. Okay. I think I just Onero into. Of the shore, I think I just Onero into Squirrel and banish them. No Squirrel, f uh, no Amphibious Assault for you, please. Alright, so. How many points are you? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's a tie. Leader charge, perfect. Patience four, all right. Okay, so I need to get. Uh, I have extra Yurden with Oniromancy, which is good. I think I just take the long round here. I might overswarm, but as long as I just play it smart, I should be fine. Chimera helps. Um, what is my whispers giving me? Parasite? Okay. That's good. Let's look for my goals. Let's look for some goals. Let's get rid of. No, we'll keep you. No, let's get rid of. We'll keep you. Never mind.
So I need to make sure I have space for Yennefer and Yerden, right? I'm missing a lot of goals, actually. These four goals are what I want. I'm get I have access to one of them, obviously. Not I. Not I. Not I. I. No. Yes. That's okay. That's actually decent. Actually, that's actually not bad. Actually, no, that's not, not bad, actually. What am I missing? What am I missing? Yennefer and Zoltan. I think it's fine. I think it's the hand. Folks say we live like princesses. If only they knew. If only they knew. Shani? Is your Shani gonna come out of play? That I'm not concerned about. I don't care about that, I think. Uh, I want to wait another turn for Crimson Curse. I just want- I would like something a little bigger on the back row. Um, I think it's Whispers into one of these. But I would like to control the Parasite though, that's the thing. I would like to control the Parasite. Let's go Triss and... How can I help? Yeah. I think next turn might be my Yennefer play, actually. They still have one of these. They have Shani, they have Natalis. There's Shani, right? On the front row, okay. Be glad to. On the Marine, nah, interesting. The city is ravaged by rot. Okay, they're trying to swamp the board. I think I just go for Yennefer here. Curse next on the front row. I can lock the Shani whenever. There's another. I don't care about that again, as I said. Okay, I have to be a bit careful. Space might be a concern now. Chimera is going to be very useful getting one some space. Only one card is locked to the range row. That's my Whispers. So I have to be, keep that in mind. They don't have alumni set yet. Patience two, patience four. So yeah, their alumni are not ready. And Sears, all right. I demand satisfaction. Bye bye, now. drone. Wait, what? Um. Wrong. Another mistake. Yeah, I agree. I do agree with that. I do agree with that. Wrong. Another mistake. I mean, it could be a Viraxis play, honestly. Like, that could be Viraxis, actually, and they're just trying to bait me out or something. Mankind is a virus. A plague. Like, maybe they're just baiting me out, you know? I, honestly, that could be Viraxis. I'd be quite careful. Why did Triss have to go, man? She's the best girl. Like, he just slaughtered her. I knew it. I knew it. Victory what did I say? Mine, whatever the cost. What did I say? I should have just gone with my gut. I should have gone with my gut. I should have gone with my damn gut. Mm, I was too scared. Uh... I think I just take the Bone Talisman here. Damn it, man! I should have heat waved them. Oh, that's annoying. Natalis for. Has yet to speak Wait. I just heat waved the Raxus. How many soldiers? Three soldiers is twelve. 
Yeah, I think I just heat wave that. So you're obviously not a standard I inspired zeal deck. That's the Gerhard. Tread carefully, lest this semester be your last. Okay, so maybe I should heat wave that. That's actually a very good spawn. More value in my chimera. Bloody Baron, alright. <laughs> We've a hero in our midst. Ha. Huh. Okay. Maybe you now because I was unconcerned the uh Veraxis are gonna play for some points. Costing contest, okay. On the Garrick Marine. I mean, it's some decent Yurtic value, though. But is it enough? What's the biggest reset I have? Four points here. Boiling oil. Alright. So I'm at 50. I, I win either way, right? Cool. Not your lucky day. Let's go. Let's go, Izzy. What now? What now? Woo! Alright, guys. That's going to be the end of it. I hope you guys enjoyed these games. Uh, if you guys did, do show your support below. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Uh, keep in mind, I post uh, Gwent and also a lot of single player walkthroughs. So if you're subscribing, make sure that you're also interested in watching some of the single player stuff. But with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.